Well, the former acting Homeland Security Secretary, Chad Wolf, joins us now. He is also a visiting fellow at the Heritage Foundation. Uh, you had the job of, of trying to ensure, among other things, that the border is secure in this country. As you look at what the Biden administration is doing, what's your reaction? Well, they're not doing much. Uh, unfortunately, we still have the worst border crisis that we've seen uh, in our lifetimes and really ever along that border. And so they're not uh, talking about new policies. They're not talking about new enforcement actions along that border to try to curb some of this illegal apprehensions that we see. Inst instead, it's just more of the same. So over 2 million illegal apprehensions last calendar year. Uh, we see that number continuing. The reporting uh, from Bill uh, indicates as much. It continues to be a very busy place along that border in the Rio Grande Valley because we know uh, that the Biden administration is not serious about upholding the rule of law and actually enforcing uh, border security. Yeah, let's take a look at the numbers. Fiscal year 2021 versus 2022, uh, the number of uh, uh, southwest border encounters, they call it, 218,000 in 2021. This is just the first quarter. In 2022, the first quarter, 518,000. That's up 138%. Uh, this crisis shows no sign of abating, Chad. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, it will continue. This is, again, I think it's important to remember, though, that this is a self-inflicted crisis. It didn't need to occur. The border was uh, under control at the end of the Trump administration. We had given them a playbook to continue some of those uh, uh, procedures and policies. They chose not to. And so they have created this crisis that we see over the last 12 months but they don't seem to be interested in solving it. Every time we hear the DHS secretary talk, he talks about they have a plan and they're executing the plan. And so I have to say that this is what they uh, are choosing to do uh, with border security is basically erode it, destroy it. And you see the, the catch and release policies, uh, failed catch and release policies uh, every day. Well, at, at his inauguration, President Biden put his hand on a Bible and swore to faithfully uphold and, and defend the laws of the United States, it is illegal to come across the southern border. Why does the president not seem interested in, in defending the border? Uh, it, it, it's a great question. And I think, you know, we, we see Border Patrol really at their wits end. Uh, there was leaked video uh, a week or so ago, them confronting the secretary saying, you need to do your job. Let us do our job because they're handcuffing the Border Patrol and, and they're not able to apprehend individuals. Some of the gang members that Bill talked about at the, at the beginning of the segment, we know those individuals are crossing the border. Uh, but when you don't let Border Patrol do their job and you don't provide them leadership, which the Biden administration is not doing, then basically you're, you're saying it's open season and everyone can come across that border. And that's why we are seeing historic numbers. And if you remember, they try to justify it, saying it was first it was the Trump administration's fault, then it was seasonal, and then it was cyclical. Uh, they refuse to actually say why it's occurring, which is because they have torn down policies and have chosen not to replace them with anything that is meaningful in any, any measure. Well, and then there's the drug smuggling. Let's take a look at some of the numbers on uh, fentanyl uh, seizures in this country. 2,804 pounds seized in fiscal year uh, 2019. It roughly doubled 4,791 pounds in fiscal year 2020, 11,200 pounds in fiscal year 21, and in just the first quarter of uh, 22, 2,707 pounds of fentanyl have been seized. Is it any wonder that fentanyl overdose deaths have reached, have, have skyrocketed really to the worst ever in this country? Uh, unfortunately, it's not. I think if you go back to 2018 and 2019 in the Trump administration, we took certain measures to stop some of that fentanyl coming in from China, which is where the majority of this originates from, through express consignments such as UPS and FedEx and DHL. And because we did that, those, uh, that fentanyl is now going to Mexico and then through our southern border. The Biden administration knows this. Uh, but what we see down there with the human smuggling is the cartels are making millions of dollars every day. And they're able to put those proceeds back into the illegal narcotics and smuggle more and more across that border every day, which is going into communities, killing Americans every day. And so when we talk about the border crisis, it's not just a, a crisis of individuals coming across, 
but it's also the nar n illegal narcotics. The two are tied together. You can't talk to, about one without addressing the other. Uh, and again, this administration is not interested really in addressing either. Yeah, it would be good to see the president or maybe his vice president addressing the problem. Former acting DHS secretary Chad Wolf, thanks very much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.